satellite constellation a threat for astronomy. So just very quickly I'll give you the group like the demographics. So we are gender neutral, male, female 50, 50 percent, 70 percent of the students, 30 percent of professionals and you can see we are from 10, uh, 8 states, 10 members. Now next slide please. Now this is the very first question. What do you see? Uh, I'll just start it with when the space treaty came into action in 1967, we just thought that it's for the human presence in space. We never thought that the human base objects presence what will do it to the space. And that's why this question is very important. I mean, you already know about these existing laws, so but still no uh, action. So this is one of the solutions that we are proposing that there has to be a certification, there has to be a license thing by the astronomers before launching these satellites. Now there are some other solutions which can be self-regulatory. I will share the presentation or you can just read it out. Simply like communication between astronomers and the community and the industry should be stronger. Some ISO like regulations should be more promoted. Things like this. And these are the best guidelines that we recommend to all of you, to all the community. That uh, the, the best ones would be that space objects must be registered by operating state as per registration convention. They should have the liability of it as well. I mean, I mean if, even if it's ten, less than 10 centimeters, it's still their liability. And then the certification is there, of course. Uh, outer space treaties, the existing laws by ITU, you know, sign copies have to come into the more uh, action part. Uh, we can incentivize the astronomer's uh, contribution that we are giving. And the final thing is that we are also proposing a fund for astronomers and the community. Next slide, please. Now, these are the questions that we want to pose to you, to the audience, as like... Uh, some of the questions that we came up with you, what can be the next part? Like, of course, debris is a problem and then we're trying to solve it and radio frequencies and then the laws. So how removal of satellite constellation can create opportunities for us, for the common people, not just for the scientific community. How? I mean, the certification cannot just be a single part. Every satellite is unique, every satellite is different. So how are we going to certify that? And the final is, uh, what is what will be the role of the nations who are not actually leaders or uh, contributors into the space, uh, I, I would say space race, let's say. So these are the questions. Thanks so much. We are open for question and answer. Our team is here. Thank you.